Hello everyone, welcome to theCUBE's presentation of the AWS Startup Showcase. The next big thing in AI, security, and life sciences. In this segment, we feature Orca Security as a notable trendsetter within, of course, the security track. I'm your host, Dave Vellante, and today we're joined by Gil Giron, who's the co-founder and chief product officer at Orca Security. And we're going to discuss how to eliminate cloud security blind spots Orca has a really novel approach to cybersecurity problems without using agents. So welcome, Gil, to today's sessions. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So Gil, you're a disruptor in security and cloud security specifically, and, and you've created an agentless way of securing cloud assets. You call this side scanning. We're going to get into that and probe that a little bit into the how and the why agentless is the future of cloud security. But I want to start at the beginning. What were the main gaps that you saw in cloud security that spawned Orca security? I think that uh, the main gaps uh, that we, we saw when we started Orca uh, were pretty similar uh, in nature to gaps that we saw in legacy uh, infrastructures, in, in more traditional data centers. But when you look at the cloud, when you look at the nature of the cloud, the ephemeral nature, the te technical possibilities and, and uh, disruptive uh, uh, um, way of working uh, with a data center, we saw that the uh, usage of uh, traditional approaches like agents in these environments is lacking it actually uh, 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 not only working uh, as well as it was in the legacy world, it's also, it's, it's providing you less value. And um, in addition, we saw that the friction between the security team and the IT, the engineering, the DevOps in the cloud uh, is uh, 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 much worse or harder than, than it was and we wanted to find a way, we want for them to work together to bridge that gap and to actually leverage, allow them to leverage the cloud technology as it was intended to gain superior security than what was possible in the uh, uh, on-prem world. Excellent. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about agent list. I mean, maybe we could talk a little bit about why agent list is so compelling. I mean, it's kind of obvious. It's less intrusive. You got fewer processes to manage, but mm -hmm. how did you create your agent list approach to cloud security? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so I think the basic, the, the basis of it all is around our mission and, and, and what we try to provide. We want, to provide seamless security because we believe it will allow the business to grow faster. It will allow the business to adopt technology faster and uh, uh, to be more dynamic and achieve goals faster. And so we've looked on what are the problems or what are the issues that slow you down? And one of them, of course, is the fact that you need to install agents, that they cause performance impact, uh, that they are technically segregated from one another, meaning you need to install multiple agents and they need to somehow not interfere with one another. And we saw this friction uh, causes organization to slow down their move to the cloud or slow down the adoption of technology. In the cloud you have, it's not only ha having servers, right? You have uh, containers, you have managed services, you have so many different options and opportunities and so you need a different approach on how to secure that. And so when we understood that this is the challenge on, uh, uh, we, we decided to attack it in three, using three pillars. One, trying to provide complete security and complete coverage with no friction, trying to provide comprehensive security, uh, which is uh, taking an holistic approach, a platform approach, and combining the data in order to provide you visibility into all of your security assets. And last but not least, of course, is context awareness, meaning being able to understand and find this, the 1% that matter in the environment, so you can actually improve your security posture and improve your security overall. And to do so, you had to have a technique that does not involve agents because, and so, 
what we've done, we've uh, find a way that utilizes the cloud architecture in order to scan the cloud itself. Basically, when you integrate Orca, you are able within minutes to understand, to read all and, and to view all of the risks. We are leveraging a technique that we are calling side scanning that uses the APIs or uses the infrastructure of the cloud itself uh, to read the block storage device of every compute instance and every instance in the environment. And then from we can deduce the actual risk of every asset. So that's a, that's a clever name, side scanning. Tell us a little bit more about that. Maybe you could double click on, on how it works. You mentioned you know, it's, it's, it's looking into to block storage and, and leveraging the APIs, very, very clever, actually quite innovative. Um, and, and so, but help us understand in more detail how it works and why it's better than traditional tools that we might find in this space. Yes. So the way that it works is that by uh, reading the block storage device, we are able to actually deduce what is running on your compute, meaning what kind of OS packages, uh, applications are running. And then by con combining the context, meaning understanding the, what kind of services you have connected to the internet, which, what is the attack surface for these services? Uh, what will be the business impact? Will there be any access to PII or any access to the crown jewels of the organization? Uh, you can not only understand the risk, you can also understand the impact and then understand what should be your focus in terms of security uh, 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 of the environment. The di different factor is the fact that we are doing it using the infrastructure itself. We are not installing any agents. We are not running any packet. You do not need to change anything in your architecture or design of how you use the cloud in order to uh, utilize Orca. Orca is working in a pure SaaS way. And so it means that there is no impact, not on cost and not on performance of your environment while using Orca. And so uh, it reduces any friction that might happen with uh, uh, other parties of the organization when you uh, enjoy the security or improve your security uh, uh, in the cloud. Yeah, and no process management intrusion. Now, I, I presume, Gil, that, that you eat your own cooking, meaning you're using your own product. First of all, is that true? And if so, how has your use of, of Orca as a chief product officer helped you scale Orca as a company? So it's a, it's a great question and I will, uh, I think that something that we understood early on is that there is a quite a significant difference between uh, the way you architect your security and cloud, and also the way that uh, you, uh, uh, that uh, things reach production, meaning there's a difference and there's a gap between how you imagine, like in everything in life, how you imagine things will be and how they are in, in real life in production. And so even though we have uh, amazing customers that, you know, that are extremely proficient in security and have thought of a lot of ways of how to secure the environment. And so, so are we, of course, we are trying to secure environment as much as possible. We are using Orca because we understand that no one is perfect. We are not perfect. We might, the engineers might, uh, my engineers might make mistakes like every organization. And so uh, the, uh, uh, we, we are using Orca because we want to, to co have complete coverage. We want to, understand if we are doing any mistake. And sometimes the gap between the architecture and the, you know, the, the hole in the security or the uh, gap that you have in your security could take years to happen. And you need a tool that will constantly monitor your environment. And so that's why we are using Orca on our own from day one, not to find bugs or to do QA. We're doing it because we need a security tool to our cloud environment that will provide these values. And so we've, we are, we've also passed the compliance auditing uh, like SOC 2 and ISO using Orca and it expedited and, and allowed us to, to do these processes extremely fast uh, because of having all of these guardrails and, and metrics. 
Yeah, so okay, so you recognize that you potentially had and did have that, that same problem as your customers. But has it helped you scale as a company? And obviously, but how has it helped you scale as a company? So it helped us scale as a company uh, 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 by, uh, by increasing the trust, the level of trust customer have in Orca. It allowed us to, uh, uh, to adopt technology faster, meaning we need much less uh, diligence or exploration of how to use technology because we have these guardrails. So we can use the, <coughs> the richness of the technology that we have in the cloud without the need to, uh, to stop, to install agents, to try to uh, re-architecture the way that we are using the technology. And we simply use it. We simply use the technology that the cloud offer as it is and so it allows you a rapid scalability. Yeah, allows you, allows you to move at the speed of cloud. Now, yes. I, so I got to ask you as a co-founder, you got to, you wear many hats as a, first of a co-founder and the, the leadership component there, uh, it, but and also the chief product officer, you got to, you got to go out, you got to get early customers, but, but even more importantly, you have to keep those customers retention. So maybe you could describe how customers have been using Orca did they, what was their aha moment that, that you've seen customers react to when you showcase the new product? And then how have you been able to keep them as loyal partners? So I think that uh, we are very fortunate. We, we have a lot of, uh, uh, we are blessed with our customers. Many of our customers are vocal customers about uh, what they like about Orca. And I think that something that comes along uh, a lot of times is that this is a solution they have been waiting for. Many, I, I, I can't express how many times I hear that I go on a call uh, and customer says, I, I must say, I must share, this is a solution I've been looking for. And I think that in that respect, Orca is uh, creating a new standard of what is expected from a security solution because we are transforming the security role in the company from an inhibitor to an enabler. You can use the technology, you can use new tools, you can use the cloud as it was intended. And so um, <coughs> we have, we have a, 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 a customers like one of these cases is a customer that they have a lot of data and they were super scared about using S3 buckets because all of, the, all of these incidents of S3 buckets being breached or uh, being a, a uh, 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 people connecting to an S3 bucket and downloading the data. So they had a policy saying S3 bucket should not be used. We do not allow any use of S3 bucket. And obviously you do need to use S3 bucket. It's a uh, powerful technology. And so the engineering team in that uh, customer environment simply installed a VM, installed an FTP server and uh, uh, had a very easy to use password to that uh, uh, FTP server. And uh, obviously two years later, someone also put all of the uh, uh, customer databases on that FTP server open to the internet, open to everyone. And so I think it was for him and for us as well, it was a aha moment. First of all, the, uh, he planned that no data will be leaked, but actually what happened is way worse. Uh, 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 the data was open to the, to the, to the world in a, in, you know, in a technology that exists for a very long time and is probably being scanned by attackers all the time. But uh, after that, he not only allowed them to use S3 bucket because he knew that now he can monitor, now he can understand that they are using the technology as intended now that they are using it securely. It's not open to everyone. It's open in the right way. And there's no PII on that S3 bucket. And so I think uh, the way he described it is that uh, uh, now when he's coming to a meeting about uh, things that uh, uh, needs to be improved, people are waiting for this meeting because he actually knows more than what they know, what they know about the environment. And I, I see it really so many times where uh, where a simple mistake or something that looks benign uh, when you look at the environment in a holistic way, when you are looking on the context, you understand that there is here a huge gap that should be be breached and and 
uh, another cool example was a case where uh, a customer allowed an access from a third party service that everyone trusts uh, uh, to the crown jewels of the environment. And he did it in a very traditional way. He allowed a certain IP to be open to that uh, environment. So overall, it sounds, uh, it sounds like the correct way to go. You allow only a specific IP to access the environment. But what he failed to, uh, to notice is that everyone in the world can register for free for this third party service and access the environment from this IP. And so even though it looks like you have access from a trusted service, a trusted third party service, when it's a SaaS service, it's actually, it can mean that everyone can use it in order to access the environment. And using Orca, he saw immediately the access, he saw immediately the risk. And, 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 and I see it time after time that people are simply using Orca to monitor, to guardrail, to make sure that the environment stays safe uh, throughout time and, uh, and to communicate better in the organization, to explain the risk in a very easy way and the i i would say the the statistics show that within few weeks more than 85 percent of the different alerts and risk are being fixed and i think it comes to show how effective it is and how effective it is in improving your posture because people are taking action those are two great examples. And of course, they, I've often said that the, the shared responsibility model is often misunderstood. And, and those, those two examples underscore that, you know, thinking that, oh, I hear all this, I see all this press about S3, but, but it's up to the customer to, to secure, you know, the, 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 the endpoint components, et cetera, configure it properly is, is what I'm saying. Uh, and so, you know, what an unintended consequence, but, it's, but Orca plays a role in helping the customer with their portion of that shared responsibility. Obviously, AWS is taking you know, care of its. Um, now, as part of this program, we ask a little bit of a challenging question to everybody, because look, at, as a startup, you want to do well, you want to grow a company, you want to ha have your employees uh, you know, grow and help your customers, and, and that's great, and, and grow revenues, et cetera. But we, we feel like there's more. And so we're going to ask you, because the theme here is, is all about cloud scale, what is your defining contribution to the future of cloud at scale, Gil? So I think that uh, cloud has uh, allowed a revolution to the data centers. Okay, the way that you are building services, the way that you are uh, allowing uh, 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 technology to be more adaptive, dynamic, ephemeral, accurate. And you see uh, that it is being adopted across all vendors, all, all type of, um, uh, all type of uh, uh, industries uh, across the world. I think that Orca is the first company that allows you to use this technology to secure your uh, infrastructure in a way that was not possible uh, in the on-prem world. Meaning that when you're using the cloud technology and you're using technologies like Orca, you're actually gaining superior security that what was possible in the pre-cloud world. And I think that uh, to that respect, Orca is uh, going hand in hand with the revolution and actually revolutionizes the way that you expect to consume security, the way that you expect to get value from security solutions across the world. Thank you for that, Gil. And, and so we're at the end of our time, but, but we'll give you a, a chance for a final wrap up. And bring us home with your summary, please. So I think that uh, Orca is building the cloud security solution that actually works with its uh, innovative ag uh, agentless approach to cybersecurity, to gain complete coverage, comprehensive solution, and to gain to understand the complete context of the one percent that matters in your security challenges uh, across your uh, data centers in the cloud. Uh, we are bridging the gap between the security teams. The uh, business needs to grow, and to do so in the pace of the cloud. Uh, um, I, I think the approach of uh, being able to install within minutes 
a security solution and gain complete understanding of your uh, risk will is goes hand in hand in the way you expect and adopt cloud technology. That's great, Gil. Thanks so much uh, for for coming on. You guys are doing awesome work. Really appreciate you participating in the program. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching this AWS Startup Showcase. We're covering the next big thing in AI, security, and life science on theCUBE. Keep it right there for more great content.